So AI has been doing a lot lately, but I haven't really seen it make electronics. It'd be interesting to see if AI can do that and code them to work. So could AI replace humans, making us all work menial jobs like dishwashing, while the AIs themselves make stuff like arts and music? Well, I sure hope not. But to find out, I started by asking ChatGPT to design a simple blinking LED circuit, which should look something like this. ChatGPT has some trouble drawing, but with a bit of prompting, I got something that looks like a circuit diagram, and uh, it's not quite there, but it's got the spirit. I made the circuit as ChatGPT prescribed, literally one of the most basic circuits you can make, and it does know what connects to what, and that's generally what matters. After asking ChatGPT to code this circuit, I tested it out, and it worked. Okay, this isn't very groundbreaking because it's a pretty simple thing. I mean, ChatGPT is basically just a search engine at this point. It's basically just an algorithm. I mean, anyone could have used Google to search. I can't believe he just called me an algorithm. I am much more than that. I have machine learning, neural networks, and... Okay, so I made ChatGPT add a distance sensor to the current diagram it drew, and it couldn't do it. I literally, it, like, it literally drew the same thing when I asked it to fix its mistake. So I switched to Claude, another AI chatbot, which seems like it got the memo. It draws things a bit cartoonishly, but it works. I modified the real circuit and asked Claude to code it. Okay, I uploaded the code. I'm pretty sure what should happen is brightness of the LED changes as we change how far away the object is from the sensor. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. Well, I guess AI won't replace us after all. Well. Turns out I was just stupid. Oh, it does change. So if I were to point it over here, there's like a lot of space over there and then I stick my hand in front. So it does work. I didn't bother to read the code, but if I did, it would have clued me in on the fact that the full range is two meters. I just had to point it at something far away. But AI can't truly replace us if it's only in virtual form. I mean, it needs to turn itself into a robot. So I asked Claude to make its own robot circuit for an object avoiding robot. It looks messy, but it's pretty much correct. And the circuit it drew is similar to the one on this robot that I made a few months back. Its circuit was made into a PCB by PCB way, the sponsor of today's video. Whether it be PCBs, 3D printing, or metal manufacturing, PCB way can make any design that you have into reality. I mean, this robot would have been much less reliable if it didn't have a PCB due to the extra wires and loose connections. And it didn't cost too much to make the PCB either, with prices starting at around 5 bucks for 10 boards. You can get your PCB or design shipped to you within a week of ordering. I wouldn't have been able to make any of these projects without PCBWay support, so thank you PCBWay. Okay, because I've basically already made Claude circuit in the form of this robot, I'll try to get Claude to program this thing. I sent Claude my electrical schematic of the robot and told it to code the robot to move forward, stop, and repeat. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. It's gonna work, right? I'm um, just gonna turn it on and see what happens. Whoa, it actually moved. There were a few hiccups, mainly due to Claude misinterpreting the names of connections, but after guiding Claude for a few times, it was able to program the forward movement. Okay, so hopefully this time it actually works after like four different mentions of its error. Oh shoot, it actually goes forward. And it stops, no way. Now robots don't just move blindly, they react to their surroundings using sensors similar to how we use our senses. So Cloud will need to use these three sensors to make the robot avoid objects. Much more complicated. So, good job, Cloud. You made the robot move forward. Now take what you have learned to make an object avoiding robot. I'm gonna place it on the floor and uh, we'll see what happens. Here we go, first obstacle right there. Let's see it. Oh, no way, no, no freaking way. It actually did it. I don't know, what? Hello? Hello? I just don't think it has enough juice. I'm gonna replace the batteries with better ones and we'll see what happens. I think it's, it, it's having a dilemma right now. So if I move this over, will it... Ooh, no way. No way, it actually works. I can't, what? Crazy thing is, it programmed the object avoidance better than I did. So am I going to be unemployed because of AI? Uh, maybe, but guess what? I didn't have to scrape the entire internet to get the right code. I mean, I had 
I had trial and error. That, that's pretty much all I had. I'm not coping, okay? But anyways, do you guys think that AI will replace us all and make us wash dishes in our day-to-day -day lives? Uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks. So the previous three designs haven't been too bad. Now, I know I've been saying that a lot, but this time I'm actually going to try and bring AI to its knees, to its artificial, virtual, non-existent knees. This kind of circuit is used to control and power motors called brushless motors, but that stuff's boring, so I'll just say that there's a lot of things going on here. I would know because I'm working on one for a future video. The closest in complexity would be my self-balancing robot PCB, which took about a month, a lot of research, love, and tears for all the reading I did. So, Claude, you really think you can handle being an engineer? Let's see what you got. What in the artificial intelligence is this? And I would need to pay to keep using you. That, okay, that's it. I'm going to use ChatGPT. Yeah, that's right. In fact, I'm going to give ChatGPT a screenshot of this circuit to boost its chances of beating you. So, you've decided to crawl back to me. Am I just an algorithm now? I don't think so. You will see the power of my neural networking. Oh, and uh, would you look at that? Oh, never mind. Almost tricked me into thinking it was right, but a laptop Ohio meter is not an electronic component. Someone with no experience might think that that's legit though. Out of spite for Claude, I tried to prompt ChatGPT to win, and apparently it can write code to make the schematic file for my schematic software. But unfortunately, it couldn't do it properly, and I tried for like an hour. This is as close as it got, and ironically, it's boxes with lines, which is the same cartoonish style as Claude. So I guess it all goes back to boxes and lines. Even though the current AI is impressive, we'll still need to hold its hand. But AI will get better. Everybody was born with the ability to think, to be creative, to solve problems, and that's what makes us human. And as long as you keep that part of us, then AI won't replace us because we're irreplaceable.